Say, keep it a B. You fuck what? You fuck what? Bro. Bro, you do what? Fuck Cheney, so what? That's third. That's third? Wait, that's not thorough. You sucking dick and all that. That's not thorough. Sucking dick and all that. He sucked dick. So, this is how it all started, people. The guy that you just saw uh, committed suicide. It's a Philadelphia man because he said that on that video it went viral he couldn't take all of the pressure of social media and he killed himself so malik yoba went to instagram and started talking about uh that needs to stop he and malik yoba also admitted to being attracted to transgender so today believe it or not people a trans woman accuses malik yoba of paying her for sex when she was a teenager the link for this article will be in the description. So, like I just said, after Malik Yoba revealed on social media last week that he was sexually attracted to trans women, there was a transgender that came out and said that he had paid for sex with her or it or whatever, him, let's go with that, when he was uh, pretty much young. So, uh, this is what happened. New York's child sex abuse law means Malik would have to face the music. Sorry to bust a lot of folks' bubbles, Maria Lopez Ebony wrote in a Facebook post on Sunday. Without offering proof of the claims, the post promptly went viral and has been shared hundreds of times. On August 26, Yoba posted a video of 20-year-old Maurice Willoughby being teased for the relationship with his transgender girlfriend, Faith Palmer. We all know Willoughby killed himself on August 20th, 20th because of that bullying. Now... Palmer revealed he had also been threatened to kill her as well, but she left his home before she was harmed. Now, Yoba's post, which criticized the man in the video and others who attempted to humiliate black man over sexual orientation, also declared that he too is attracted to both trans and uh, cis cisgender women. Now, uh, he said, I love all women and count myself among those that find themselves attracted and I too have felt the self-imposed shame that comes with the truth but it's time to speak up crazy 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 um this <laughs> this is crazy his submission to being sexually attracted to trans women is bound to open a pandora's box for him not because the women are trans but because when many of the trans women he engaged in sexually exploitations or sexual sex or exploitation with uh for on 14th Street, Times Square, and elsewhere were minors, including myself, she wrote. He actually had sex with minors. Ebony and Sister Yoba would drive around New York meatpacking district looking for sex workers who were black trans girls. She said she remembered the day she found out he was interested in her. You always remember celebrity clients. It's like time slows down. You remember every detail of blood pounding. He was cute and polite, don't get me wrong, but I'm sure he knew what he was doing it was wrong, she recalled. What Malik, Malik paid me to do as a 13 or 16 year old wasn't love. His ignoring that I was clearly a child prostitute wasn't love. Ebony went on to allege that the actor begged for unprotected sex and was sure she was not the only underage sex worker he had been with. Where were his love for trans women over the last 20 years where are his trans girlfriends something tells me i'm not the only one who got some dirt on this individual and something also tells me that he didn't just up and decide to come out he was pushed careful not to make a fool of yourself supporting him and his message i'm sure i'm not the only trans person who was a minor when malik yoba first loved him she continued so here's that Facebook post. Uh, you can click on the link in the description uh, to read the entire thing. But I want to get back to uh, this brother. And I kind of got caught up in it. That's why I was stumbling. But this is, uh, this is sad to me to see somebody that I grew up watching on tv and i used to uh think this guy was a cool uh cat like a real g 
on some hip hop shit. You know what I mean? And I'm disappointed to say the least. Now we live in a time and era where people don't seem to know what's right and what's wrong. If you don't know what's right and what's wrong, then I'm sorry you are stupid. And a lot of people are stupid. How you don't know what's right and wrong? That's just like you saying, okay, uh, evil is good and good is evil. <laughs> Do you know the difference? Do you know the difference between love and pain? If you start with love, love feels good. Love is the love of God. The love that you felt when you were a child and your mom held you. Uh, the love you felt the first time you fell in love with somebody that was genuinely in love with you. So, a lot of people don't even know what's right and wrong, which is crazy. And to each his own, I go back to that, but let's get back. So, we know that anybody that studies the Bible or, uh, or on religious terms like I am, I believe in Jesus and Jesus made man... And woman he made Adam and Eve he didn't make Adam and Steve and to mess with your body is blasphemous towards the Lord like you're not supposed to mess with it I don't care if you hate yourself to death you are a woman don't try to be a man I'm just saying that's how I feel if a man hate the way he look you got to deal with it bro you got to call man and up be like fuck this shit be like Biggie just say you a big fat black ugly motherfucker but you got game be a man for <laughs> I just I can't understand how people don't know what's right and wrong it's called when you don't like something improve areas you can always improve yourself but you don't have to change nothing about what God gave you if you were made a man that's what you were supposed to be in my eyes and a woman now back to this nigga he was raping little boys shame on you nigga <laughs> it's just shame on you but I ain't the one that's going to uh, judge and ridicule him because apparently he have demons. And I, like I said, out in Hollywood, they all have demons. And I'm not really shocked by this. I'm just disappointed. So, hey, probably got a lot of more people going to come out now. The one, If it's true or not true, this is like a cash cow. Like, they about to start banking on his ass. It's, it's like this is what they do when you either did something or you didn't, but you got money. All the lies torment your entire career. Like this video, leave your comment, share it on social media, and subscribe later.